So, right, um, they might have a scrap engine, right, like that and there, stood outside. Let's say, first off, can you take a scrap engine to the to the tip? Um, I can't actually because I haven't got the distance. Um, you say, reverse your van in and we will lower the engine into your vehicle. When you get there, they'll have a forklift truck with a chain that they can wrap around the engine and lift it out of your bobcat. But mm. well, that's the type of thing that the bobcats are really good at. You could carry a, a one ton or a half a ton engine in the back of that. And you can open the bottom. Back. First off, they'll say, can you go and get us um, a couple of batteries to just stock up this, put um, to keep the stock on the shelf, and then go and get us, you know, <coughs> uh, um, you're just an emergency runner, any fa in fact, because the, ma the main paint would come on one of the bigger trucks. But can you go and get us? Um, 10 litres of blue paint. So that's your order. A freak. Oh, for <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Sorry. God. I didn't mean to swear. Right. It's alright to run people over, but it's not alright to swear. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, I'll just med this guy, but I'm not Can't swear. <coughs> You bum! So... I'll see if I can get myself another coffee before my uh, helper dis disappears. The light would change green for me. I meant to slot in behind him. But because the controls are, are lagging a little bit, it means that it's difficult. Um, what I will do is I will go to the docks first, and you would get random orders like this that you have to use. <coughs> And uh, as you use them, um, it would be closely related to how many blue cars are sprayed, or how many cars are sprayed blue, should I say, in the spray shop. So the thing is, if, if several cars, and they would have a, a random thing, if several cars are, are sprayed green, then their green paint diminishes in stock. And, you know, they can also do unusual colours. So as people get on more uh, different colours, if you want an orange car, it's uh, red and, I believe, yellow. So yellow paint and red paint would be used, but only half the rate that it would be if you were just spraying a car red and then they would have different reds and they would alter the tone of the red by adding other paints and if you actually go in the spray shop and could work in the spray shop your skill on mixing the paints because I would like to see that in the custom car section where you could mix your paint on like one of those um, palette screens that you make. was that did I say that that was the paint warehouse it's not, is it? No, the paint warehouse, I'd imagine, was this red building. It's a, it's a main warehouse for lots of different products, that liquid um, in tins. So you can get oil from here and transmission fluid. And um, so, which you might, you might end up turning up here about half a dozen times. Sorry about the language. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's GTA look. If you don't like it, stop watching the video. Um, looks like a criminal, this guy, doesn't he? I will knock him over. So the thing is that you have to take this piece of paper that you've gotten from the um, spray shop into the office. And you walk past people that you know and they say, Morning, Nico. And you say, Morning. 
And um, <laughs> morning, lad. How are you diddling? And uh, then you take it to the office girl, and she says, "Yeah, oh, I'll sort this out." And she gets on the picks up the phone, and the guy s starts waving to you in the distance, and he says, "I'm bringing it down for you." And he starts walking down, and you could, when you work at this place, you can actually see their stock list and how much they've got on, and each one would have its own economic. Um, you know spreadsheets where you could use it I want I want it to be more complicated than what it is um, detailed is the word not complicated out yeah I know they are yeah oh, he looks like a criminal I thought he was gonna rob me you know it's look, look he's actually got some tools on him which I think is really good um, in Red Dead Redemption you've got this guy and he just pulls this hammer out of nowhere it just appears in his hand and he starts nailing down yeah in the crowbar he just starts opening the crate and then when he's finished with the crate, he just nails it down with a with an am, a, a hammer hey, just that just appears in his hand, or he pulls it out of his backside, or something like that. You know, a big hammer as well. And that video is actually in the crate opener. So if you look on the blog for a crate opener, um, and the blog is at newgtagame.co.uk. That's N E W G T A G A M E dot co dot uk. So if you look on that blog, you'll find all different posts about my ideas for inventing or making up a really good game, and pro probably I'm in my own deluded little world, um, you know, but that's what I like to do. Uh, it's one of my many blogs, I have farming simulators blogs and all sorts of stuff. So these guys come down with the order of paint and they put whatever it is I said, was it 10 litres of blue paint or green paint on the car? in the back and they say thank can you sign this and the guy comes to the window and you click to sign it and a quick cut scene plays which you can also click the green again um, to and I'm talking about from a standard PlayStation controller if you're on Xbox or um, PlayStation whatever the action button is and it cuts the cut scene so you don't have to watch all the cut scenes if you don't want to because I find that quite annoying when you when you're in some of the games and the cutscene plays and you should be able to press again to stop it but the action should still continue if you want to back out of the action then you should press the red button or the cancel so you've signed for this paint and then you take it um, back meanwhile while you're driving there they um, you know you've got to remember what you went out for they asked for a couple of batteries as well and I'm conscious of not making these videos too long so we're going to the nearest place we've got an order for batteries and you have a an invoice sheet this is how you get paid as well on a daily wage you maybe get say thirty dollars a day which equivalent to if you're doing uh, if you're doing actually ten hours work it's <laughs> three hours three quid an hour in it um, <laughs> uh, I think I just spent my wages today. <laughs> How much will that cost me to get sorted? <laughs> Not hundred, more than hundred. Look, if you took this brand new Bobcat in to any shop and you said to them, "Will you fix that for hundred dollars?" They'd just laugh at you. They say, "Look, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm having a laugh, man." Uh, I've gone the wrong way. I'm looking for the battery shop. It's not round here. I'm going to the battery shop. It's not that way. The battery shop is right and right on here and I should have gone. <coughs> Let me pull in here properly. This video is going to be about a quarter of an hour long by the time I finish it. But these idiots here, get out of my way. Right, now then, I really want there to be a door in the back of this place. And you should all know if you've been watching the videos what's around the front of this. It's the tyres um, place. And you go in the back door because it's the main tradesman's entrance. The front door is just for the public and that. But you can also go in that end. You go up to the counter and it'd be have a double counter in 
where you can see through to the other side where you see the pedestrians coming in on the other side and buying batteries and you put your ticket on the fl on the desk and the guy goes two batteries for you <coughs> and the battery has a handle on it of course like most modern batteries do and you pick up a battery in each hand and the the chitter you give him gives lets you have the batteries and you can walk out with the two batteries and you press to put them on the vehicle it lifts them over the back in with your 10 litres of blue paint or green paint whatever it was I said was in the back of there <coughs> I want everything to work right down to all this rubbish once clearing up out the street um, but it still builds up on a daily basis if you pull up outside the spray bay with this damage in your on your vehicle the boss might see it and he also would say to you um, that'll come out your wages mate other than that you might be able to get it fixed and there's another way of fixing it as well of course steal another vehicle <laughs> that's the same and no because we work for the pain spray this is the pain spray as a vehicle that we're driving or that we're crashing well no they won't pay for it they'll, they'll take it out of your wages if you damage your vehicle because you're supposed to when you go to work for somewhere that you're saying that you're not going to cost them money are you you know, if I want somebody working for me as a taxi driver, for instance, I don't expect him to write off every taxi because it costs thousands to replace a taxi. You know, how long do you think you're going to be working for Roman if you write off a taxi every time you drive it? No, but it's like if, um, if you. I should have recorded all of the. I should have recorded all of the missions I've just done for Roman, right? But I'll show you what happened. Now let's imagine when you get to here. You're reversing the building and you call all hands. You actually reverse in the building. So what, instead of reversing the building, I'm going to reverse in this doorway. That doorway is open already because the business is open. And you can see people working in the building. And you would reverse right in and you call up your um, torque wheel, as I call it, which gives you all the options. When you're in this building, a new, whichever building you're in, a new set of options opens up. And if you work for this building, you've got an option to call all hands. And then whatever you do, they will do. And if you've got paint and batteries and everything else on, when you call all hands, they will totally empty the vehicle. So if you've got two batteries on that you want to take to the other place, you, you take the batteries and go and put them down on the shelf and call all hands while you're doing it. And they will come and take all the paint out and put it where that paint goes, right? Or where you've put your batteries. Then you go upstairs and you say to them, uh, you, put your battery, you pick up your batteries and put them back in the vehicle, but these are batteries were actually for this place. They wanted you to take this engine to tip. Did you see the engine move then when I moved, slipped on it? And I was trying to make it move the last time, it didn't move. Go upstairs and you say, I've brought that paint. Uh, have you got any more jobs? And they say, yep, um, we'll give you a call later on, but the rest of the morning is just for yourself if you want, um, because we're only at... Oh well, it's dinner time now. Go and have your lunch. We might we might need you this afternoon. We'll give you a call if we need you. So as far as you know, now you've got the in, the afternoon off. Oh, apart from the fact that I said, have you taken that engine yet? And you say no. So well, there's the engine to drop off. So you would back in there, and you would say you'd go and get the chitty for the engine. So you would take that delivery job, and that delivery job would make the um, the staff get the crane and you reverse your vehicle under the crane and they lower the engine into your vehicle and then you press the action button they lower it into your vehicle and disconnect it